With COVID-19 rampaging across the United States, the economy has taken a massive hit at all levels due to shutdowns, closings, and an inability to safely travel anywhere, it seems. And while a lot of the focus is geared towards what the federal government can do to provide relief or whether states can reopen or not, lost in the shuffle, perhaps, is a small-town economy in northeastern Massachusetts. North Andover is the name, and small-town business owners affected by the coronavirus is the game. Obviously, businesses are feeling a lot of pain right now. That's Andrew Shapiro, the Director of Community and Economic Development for North Andover. Five months into his new position, thrust upon him is a global pandemic that has heavily limited or shut down local businesses. You can't pay your, um, your suppliers, you can't pay your employees. In many cases, there have been layoffs. Um, so it's very difficult in trying, um, but uh, the town is, is being vigilant. We're doing everything we, can, everything we can to sort of monitor the situation. The North Andover community has come to a halt then it's an eerie landscape for sure, with a once bustling and robust business community now trapped in a viral limbo. It's been um, you know, a, lot, a lot of things you see out there that keep using the word unprecedented. Chris Palermo, the head of the North Andover Merchants Association and the owner of Blue Dog Pet Service, has been in constant contact with businesses across the town since the Massachusetts stay-at-home order began. He said it's been hard for businesses to keep up with the fast pace and constant updates provided by the local, state, and federal government. And with many trapped in purgatory for loans, relief, and general help, patience is running thin. It's difficult, but a lot of the businesses, we do have to be patient, but at the same time, it's frustrating because, uh, like I said before, for some businesses, they're holding on to a lifeline or looking at this as a lifeline so that they can um, you know, make sure that they don't default on any loans or payments. With Governor Charlie Baker extending the stay-at-home order until May 4th, Local North Andover businesses will continue to see revenue dwindle away, whether it be deemed essential or non-essential. Take, for example, Shunju Fine Chinese and Japanese Cuisine off of Turnpike Street. Now, in its 11th year in North Andover, owner Jason Chen is seeing a massive hit in revenue despite still being open for takeout and bringing back delivery from 4 to 8 p.m. Chen cites the bar being closed as a major factor, claiming it accounts for around 30% of his total revenue. If the stay-at-home order extends past May 4th, Chen is unsure if his business can survive any further. It's hurting us very, pretty bad, especially the bar and most of our clients come yeah, at the bar. That's what the, the most money maker bar. And plus the delivery, all the kids from Merrimack College, Brooks and Phillips, now they all gone. On Main Street lies J&M Pizza and Subs, where owner Chris Vasilopoulos has taken all the precautions to keep his customers and staff healthy and safe including adding curbside pickup, pushing for more deliveries and paying for orders over the phone, and adding sneeze guards at the counter. Still, Vasilopoulos knows the shop cannot continue at their current model and the longer the stay-at-home order continues, and will most likely have to cut costs if it comes to it. It's kind of day by day at this point, week by week. You kind of circle the wagons and go from there. We've had to make a lot of adjustments as far as, you know, what we order in our hours, cut back a little bit of our fixed costs to try to allow us a little bit more flexibility. I didn't really want to lay anyone off. I need my employees and I want them to be here when this is over, which it will be over at some point. While food has remained a reason for people to leave their house and open their wallets, getting work done on their cars has not had quite the effect. Robert McElhenney, proprietor of Body Works Auto Body Repair Shop on Turnpike Street, has seen a drastic drop in business since the virus became a household name. With less people on the road due to the stay-at-home order, there is less of a chance or need for collision repairs. And even for a 20-year Best of the Best Award winner, McElhenney has had trouble with business driving itself in. Uh, with all the shutdowns and all the people off the roads, that's kind of what drives this business. We do um, collision repair, and where there's no one driving on the roads, it's basically stopped in its tracks. I've had to lay off a few people, um, cut back hours, um, cut expenses, stay afloat. And for those looking to find a home to stay at during the stay-at-home order, the real estate industry has also seen a setback with everyone practicing social distancing. Sales manager Maureen Hines for William Ravis Real Estate told me that the spring is the busy season for buyers and sellers, but with social distancing in full effect, it's a whole new challenge. In the four weeks since the stay-at-home order began, Hines said there's been issues financially for buyers in making sure homes can be properly inspected. Financing guidelines have drastically changed as well as far as uh, acceptable credit ratings. 
um, for different programs, loan programs, government programs, or conventional. Um, so some have fallen through or maybe delayed for a little bit for those reasons. The other large challenges we've run into is getting the other service providers into the homes safely, which includes appraisers, inspectors, movers, um, closing attorneys and, and getting to the closing table. And then of course the, um, the smoke detector certificate inspection done by our firefighters. So the question on every business owner's mind is what help and relief can be offered to me in any capacity? Well, the town encourages businesses to explore the CARES Act federal stimulus program, which includes the Paycheck Protection Program and the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program, Shapiro and the town came up with a local solution for businesses to apply for. I'm proud to say that the town announced a, um, a grant program for small businesses to access uh, one month of rent or mortgage payment, um, up to $3,000. And, um, you know, we realize that that's not going to be a silver bullet and solve everyone's problems, but we thought it was a, a solid gesture of goodwill, hopefully a little bit of a helping hand in a very trying time. We've already gotten uh, several applications. I believe we have over 100 applications at this point, and we're in the process of making decisions on, on uh, funding different, uh, different applications. Palermo compares this pandemic to the gas crisis that North Andover, Andover and Lawrence experienced back in 2018, which shut down many businesses in town and left them in a limbo state as they awaited relief similar to now. We have done it before, for, for sure. And, it, and I think also uh, we have to keep in mind that once this is all over, we got we to get back to business. And, you know, what's going to be the... Um, the permanent effect that this pandemic has on our society. So that is the million dollar question. What is the best way to get business to return to normal when all is said and done? I asked each of the business representatives what their answer was, and while they each have different answers, they all had a similar theme. Support these businesses now. Uh, we often uh, give certificates 20% uh, 20 20 off if you purchase a pet, it's good to the whole year. But let's see what, how far it can go. So far we can, the next one or two months, I think we can get through it as long as the, the thing, the virus go quickly, get done with. Our customer base has been, has always been great. It seems to be growing. They've, they come in, they support us, they've adjusted with us as far as, you know, picking up orders and doing more deliveries and paying for them over the phone from having our drivers just drop the food off and call us when they get it and, and vice versa, we call them. So far, they've been really, really helpful. And honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm the luckiest guy in the world to have customers I do. If you ever heard someone that needed uh, auto body work, say, hey, I know this shop. Uh, referrals is basically what, what makes us, you know, stay open. Uh, return customers, relatives, referrals. But as far as gift cards, because we do collision work, so you can't really give someone a gift card to crash their car, so that doesn't go over too well. Just word of mouth um, stuff that... That's what we need. Personally, I think if you uh, want to sell, now is the time to do it. Um, certainly there's very little competition and I will assure you that there are plenty of buyers out there. I do not see a big shift in prices um, going down or up right in the short term. Something that costs nothing and you, where a lot of people are home and maybe have some extra time on their hands, I think uh, going online and giving that business that you really like a review on Google or Yelp or Facebook, um, those positive reviews can go a long way for when businesses are open again. One thing the town has done is it established a, um, a support small biz website. Uh, if you go to www.supportnasmallbiz.com, there's a listing of restaurants, uh, retail shops, uh, other types of businesses. It kind of gives an indication of what each business is currently offering. So some of the businesses that are still offering takeout, for instance, or other services to accommodate for what's going on right now. Now, many of the North Andover business representatives I've spoken to have expressed togetherness for their fellow local business owners in town and continue to show support to the local North Andover community, including William Ravis Real Estate, who is putting on Neighbors in Need fundraisers as of Friday, April 17th. However, with many of the federal resource programs on hold, including the PPP due to a lack of funding, help has never been needed more for these local business owners. 
If you are a North Andover business owner looking to find out when and how you can find resources now, visit my YouTube channel and search for the interviews I did with Andrew Shapiro and Chris Palermo. Now remember, we did this in 2018 for the gas crisis when houses were on fire and the community was turned upside down. Now, in 2020, from the comfort of our homes, we can rebound together yet again. From his backyard in North Andover, Massachusetts, due to social distancing, I am Sam Murray.